Today we're going to be talking about, you know, something that I'm really starting to see here, especially at the prep level. And I'm starting to see just in kids in general, right? And that is the acceptance and being okay with losing. There's a lot of kids nowadays who are okay with losing as long as they get their stats. Or we'll be in practice and as long as I'm cooking, as long as I got off and my team, and my team lost, they lost. I didn't lose. Like, there's a lot of that going on nowadays. And, like, kids have to understand, like, winning is, like, the most important thing. Everything else comes after that, right? Coaches are going to see where the winners are. That's what they want first. I don't care if you, okay, there are some players, okay, you drop 40, 50, okay, but you're, most of the time, you're only going to be there for one year. For most collegiate programs, they want players that are going to be there for four years and that are going to win and like winning and love winning and they're not okay with losing because in this day and age we've got a lot of kids that want that gratification that instant gratification okay i crossed somebody up i broke somebody ankles i want to go post it on the gram it really don't matter if we won the game i broke somebody off i'm about to get this i'm about to get this 500 a thousand likes on the gram like it don't matter if, if we lost the game and that's not the case at all especially in recruiting because i've had coaches tell me this after the fact after i got to college like they look at that when you lose the game when you lose the game and you walking off the court with your teammates and you're and they see you laughing and they see you laughing and smiling and on your phone like hey bro look at this like look at this look, look what they just posted about me they're watching all of that so like a coach they really they want winners so like you can't be okay with losing you don't go into the game with the mindset like okay i don't care if we lose i'm gonna get my 30 and i'm gonna just get an offer off of that like no if you are a real teammate if you are a real teammate, like you want to see all your brothers succeed. And the only way to do that is to win. So what's better? I go out there, I drop 40, I get a couple offers, or as a team, as a collective, we go out there get against IMG, we go out there against my bird, and we beat them. Next thing you know, there's buzz, palpable buzz around the program, and all of a sudden coaches are like, oh, let me go look at that team. They just beat my bird, who had who? Oh, let me go, oh, where does he play at? Where does he play at? Okay, where does he play at? That's a team full of winners. This is literally how it happens.